Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome to my NCIX Tech Tips episode on the ASUS PB278Q. This is an extremely high resolution, extremely rich color depth, and extremely awesome monitor. We're gonna tell you all about it. With its industrial design with clean lines and no extraneous nonsense, I mean, even the three watt speakers are, are hidden rather than having like an extra bar down the side sides of the monitor. Uh, with the clean look, it's gonna look great on your desk and it's also extremely ergonomic to use. So it's got all of the usual ergonomic features, including tilt, swivel, I could swivel the monitor instead of myself, but you know, we, we wanna see both of those things. Height adjust, as well as even the premium feature pivot all the way to a 90 degree turn so you can use it vertically should you so desire. The inputs are everything you could want and it comes with all the included cables, HDMI, DVI, VGA, and DisplayPort all come with it. However, I would recommend using DVI or DisplayPort with this monitor because those are the ones that are gonna help you drive the extremely high resolution at which it runs. It has an audio pass-through so you can plug your headphones directly into the monitor if you run an audio source into it. You've also got your power input at the bottom and last but not least about the physicality of this monitor is the included cable management clip at the back. So all you have to do is take it on and off, arrange your cables however you want so that they're not going to be in the way and then clip it right back into place. It's hard to do with one hand while you're trying to you know talk and shoot a video at the same time but I think you guys get my point. If you're a frequent watcher of the show, then you probably already know how much I love the panel of this monitor because there's two things about it that are my favorite, pretty much. It's a high-res panel, 2560 by 1440. This is much higher resolution than 1080p, and it is just awesome for having more space to work on things. You want to put documents side by side. You want to have more icons on your desktop, all that good stuff. And it's also better for the color sharpness, or rather the color sharpness, the image sharpness, because there's more pixels scrunched in closer, so you see fewer staircases and jaggies, and it just looks better on its own even without anti-aliasing technology. The other thing I love about it is it's a PLS panel. Love PLS panels. The last PLS monitor we had on Tech Tips had, unfortunately had a very glossy front panel. This one right here uses a matte panel so you get that beautiful color reproduction and no glare or reflections as you guys can clearly see in the video here. Now the monitor is fully rated to deliver the entire sRGB color gamut as well as well, yeah, it just looks, ah, it looks awesome. It has a bunch of different modes, so you can change between standard mode, sRGB mode, scenery mode, which looks very vibrant, as well as theater mode and user mode, which is standard mode by default. It has a couple other really neat features, such as their quick fit. Okay, there we go. So you can align to a grid. You can set it up so that you can easily make sure that pictures that you're printing out are gonna be exactly the right size once you do it. And I wanna talk about the trade-off for gamers because if you get a 120 hertz or 144 hertz like gaming panel, you're always getting a TN panel. They're faster, they're more responsive, and you won't see any motion blur. But for me personally, I find the trade-off with the richer colors and the more vibrant viewing experience is worth it. To see this in action, I want you guys to look at the very top edge of these lamps in order to see a little bit of motion blur that gets left behind. Personally, I find this to be completely acceptable and adequate for gaming, but some pickier customers may disagree. Also, the fact that it uses a 60 hertz refresh rate for the pixels themselves means that you'll get a little bit less notice when something happens in like a Twitch game, for example, something like Counter-Strike. Now I talked about the enhanced productivity, but when you're running a full screen application, it's hard to really see the point. So here I've got you know, CPU-Z and Task Manager, Afterburner. I've got Steam going on here. You can see how much we can see on these windows of the Steam library, for example, without actually running out of space on our computer. So you can do so much at the same time compared to what you'd be able to do on a traditional 1080p or even, heaven forbid, you know, uh, 1680 by 1050 or whatever monitor resolution you're using now. I'd also like to point out, and while you guys are looking at this through like a camera and then through your own monitor, the stark contrast between the whites and the blacks on this monitor, the whites are 
white and they're pure and the blacks are deep and they're dark. It is absolutely beautiful. I think the 80 million to one contrast ratio from ASUS is probably a little bit optimistic. However, it's still, because of the PLS panel, one of the best that I've seen. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.